evening, everyone. My name, My name is Natalie McCoy, and, and I am more than honored to welcome everyone to the commencement ceremony for Canyon Lake High School's Class of 2021. Over the course of these last four years, we have experienced obstacles that we never thought we would ever endure, and I think those experiences ultimately prepared us for the next chapter of our lives. Whether that be attending college, the military, trade school, or jumping right into the workforce, I believe that this class is more than capable of achieving wonderful things with our future, and I feel like we are all ready and eager to start our adult lives. Now, if you could please rise from your seats and remove your caps for the presentation of colors by our very own JROTC and remain standing for the national anthem led by members of the Canyon Lake High School Choir and the pledges led by Hedy Edinger and Caitlin Postel. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for the invocation led by Lily Lesturgeon. Please, Please bow, your bow your heads for the invocation. invocation. Dear, Dear Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, we thank, we thank you for this day and opportunity, opportunity to gather together, together especially, especially after, after the trials of this year. This year, this year has not been an easy one, one for anyone, anyone but through, through you, you, we have persevered and made it the best possible. possible. Despite, Despite all, all the hardships, hardships we've had an amazing year and been, and been able, able to create memories that we will cherish forever. Thank you for providing a safe place for us to learn and grow and guiding us into the next chapter of our lives. 
Without, Without the incredible, incredible staff and administrators, administrators you have placed in our life, life this wouldn't be possible. Be possible. They entered this year unsure of what it would look like and the risks attached, but worked hard to create a safe and comfortable learning environment for everyone. Thank you for our families who have supported us through this journey and worked to make this last year as special as possible, despite it not being the most normal. We are forever grateful for all our friends who have made this year what it is and provided the best possible high school experience. You have put these amazing people in our life for a reason, and I pray that you will allow these bonds to only strengthen over time. Thank you for guiding us through these crazy four years and making it possible for us to stand here today. This year has been a tough one, but we have learned many valuable lessons like resilience and perseverance, no matter what is done our way, and that with your love, anything is possible. Continue to watch over us and continue to guide us through this next chapter of our life. It's in your heavenly name we pray. Amen. Amen. You may, you may be, be seated. seated. Good evening, Good evening and welcome, welcome to the Canyon, Canyon Lake High School, High School class, class of 2021 graduation, graduation ceremony. ceremony. I am, I am Christy Castilleja, Castilleja principal, principal of Canyon, Canyon Lake High School. School. On, behalf On behalf of the Canyon, Canyon Lake High School, High School faculty, faculty and staff, staff I, would I would like, like to, to welcome, welcome the parents, parents family members, members, friends, friends and, and honored, honored guests. guests. At this, At this time, time, I would, I would like, like to introduce our distinguished, our distinguished guest, guest, Mr. Mr. Andrew, Andrew Kim, Kim CISD, CISD Superintendent, Superintendent. As, as well as CISD, CISD Administration, Administration Assistant, Assistant Superintendent, Mr. Corby, Corby Wonderlich, Ms. Krista Moffitt, Ms. Mandy Epley, and Ms. And Kristen, Kristen Lewis. I, I would also like, like to recognize Canyon, Canyon Lake High School Administrative and Counseling, and counseling staff. staff. Assistant, Assistant Principals, principals Alex, Alex Higby, Higby, Mark Kirschner, Kanan Drybro, and, and Chad Bentley. Bentley. As, as well as our counselors, counselors Wendy, Wendy Foster, Foster, Angel Mitchell, Mitchell Joy, Joy Orr, Orr. Oh. Adriana Inman, and, and Ben, ben Matthews, CLHS, CLHS Teacher, Teacher of the Year. Of the year. Oh. I would I like, like to, to introduce, introduce Mr. Mr. David Tristata, Kamal ISD, ISD School, School Board, Board President. President. Good evening, Good evening graduates, graduates, and congratulations, congratulations on this milestone accomplishment in this, in this journey, journey of life. Of life. Uh, before, uh, before I go, I go any further, further I'd, I'd like to take a moment and recognize the, the, my fellow trustees, trustees who are here with me this evening that will be assisting in bestowing uh, diplomas uh, to, to each of you tonight. tonight. I, will I will tell you, this board has had a challenging year just, just like everyone else. else. And I am so proud of the work they have done over the past 12 to 14 months in the, in the willingness, willingness to make difficult and courageous, and courageous decisions to make, to make ultimately this day possible. So, so here, here with, with us tonight, tonight Mr. Mr. Jason York, our board, our board vice, vice president. president. Ms. Michelle, Michelle Ross, Ross, our board our secretary. secretary. Mr. Mr. Tim, Tim Hennessy, our board, board treasurer. treasurer. Trustee, Trustee Russ, Russ Garner. Garner. And one of our past board presidents, Mr. Cody, Cody Miller. Miller. And, assuming and assuming the reins of board president for the upcoming new calendar year, year school calendar year, year Mr. Mr. Jason York. York. Graduates, Graduates, just a just couple, couple of quick words, words and, I will, and I will be brief. brief. If, there's if there's one, one thing, thing that has already, already been mentioned and will probably be mentioned, mentioned multiple times again, again, if there's one thing the pandemic has taught us is you can't live in fear. You have, you have to, to face, face these challenges, challenges and, and confront them head on. on. You'll, You'll face, face many more in the, in the uh, years, years to come. And, and so, so as, uh, uh, as it's as been it's well put many, many times, times uh, a life filled with fear, fear is a half-life. Half life. The, the other thing, thing is, is let's, let's not live with regret, regret or as little as possible. possible. And, so and so to you young men out there tonight, if there happens to be a young lady out here 
uh, sitting, uh, sitting beside, beside you, you or somewhere, somewhere in one, one of these chairs, chairs that, that somehow, somehow over the past, past four years, years you haven't had, had the courage, courage to uh, ask, ask them out on a date, date or ask, ask for their, their phone, phone number, number. You, only you only got, got a little, little bit, bit more time. time. And for and you for young, young ladies, ladies, the same, the same thing. thing. If, there's if there's a young, a young man, man out there that perhaps, perhaps you, I wish you'd ask me out at some point, well, now's the time. Because after tonight, it's probably not going to happen. The other, the other thing, thing, and this, and this may, may be, be the, the most, most important, important, again, again if there's, there's another, another important, important um, lesson, lesson that life has taught us over the past 14 months, months. Let's, let's just, just be, be kind to one another. another. Take, Take the high, the high road, road, even when, when it's, it's difficult, difficult, but in, but in the, the end, end you'll, be a, you'll, you'll be much happier. happier. All, right, All right, graduates, congratulations. congratulations. Parents, family, and friends in the stands, I expect one thing. You need, you need to be, to be hooping, hooping and hollering when these, when these graduates, graduates come across, across this stage. stage. Let's, Let's get, get this, this going. going. Okay. Howdy, Howdy everyone, and, and welcome, welcome to the class of 2021 graduation, graduation ceremony. ceremony. I'm so, I'm so glad, glad that we're all able, able to be here today, today especially, especially after the, the challenging year we've, we've just faced. faced. Continuing, Continuing our education through a pandemic was difficult, but we persevered and now our hard work has paid off. off. That being that said, said, we would not be here if it weren't for the help of our parents, parents teachers, teachers, administrators, and mentors. And mentors. For, for your continuing support, support, we say thank you. you. Graduates, we've experienced, we've experienced difficulties, difficulties that, that none of us saw coming. coming. We've, we've faced these faced obstacles head on, and this, and this has prepared us to enter the world after high school. school. The last, the last year, year and a half have left, left the world dark and divided. And divided. Now, now more than, more than ever, ever, the world needs our generation to step up and bring light into this world. world. Class, Class of 2021, 2021 I, encourage I encourage you to take your next steps, steps with positivity and kindness. Now, now more than, than ever, ever, the world, world needs, needs a light. light. Let, Let us be that, be that light. light. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> it is my pleasure to introduce Landry Brown, who will be giving the graduation address. Hi everyone. Hi everyone, for those, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Landry. Thank, Thank you to everyone who is here today and watching at home, and a big thanks, thanks to all the families, families teachers, coaches, coaches, and everyone who has helped us get to this point. point. Another, Another big thanks to the people that made graduation day possible. Before I start the speech, it's important to note that I was a little hungry when I was writing this. And I think that the problem with speeches like this is that there really is no guidance, no template, and no one who tells you how to do it. You just get told, oh, hey, you need to give a speech to your class on graduation. Write it. It makes it rather difficult, especially because I'm sitting here thinking about when I can get Panda Express next. But Panda is not the point of today's speech. Rather, I believe that I'm supposed to reflect on high school or something along those lines. To me, high school is pretty funny. You come in as one person and you come out a totally different person. You spend four years walking down the same halls and being around the same people to get a single piece of paper that tells you you've done what the state requires of you. When put like that, it seems rather boring. But these past few years really have been some of the best times. For many of us, the best memories came from sports. For others, it may have been from fine arts or involvement in other organizations on campus. Also, also, somewhere, somewhere in, there, in there, we learned, we learned a few things. things. Maybe. Maybe. But, personally, but personally, I think one of the most important things that we learn are from the relationships and experiences. And experiences. By relationships, I don't necessarily mean boyfriends, boyfriends and girlfriends, girlfriends but, just but just our interactions, interactions with, other with other people. people. If, you, if really you really think about it, you only, only ever learn things, things from other people. people. We've we have learned, learned how to deal with tense situations in our friend group. We've learned how to talk to a teacher when we get bad grades. We have learned to leave toxic situations with people in our lives. We have also learned how to kick the annoying green freshman out of our lunch table. I'm just, I'm just kidding. kidding. These interactions, interactions have taught us that what, what we should and should not put up with in our lives. You do not, not need to be constantly exerting energy and shushing over people who are not good for you and do not support your goals. Your goals. Like, like earlier it stated, our experiences are another important thing we've learned from high school. school. 
we experience the pain of not getting into the Desire College or the joys of hanging out with your best friends. High school really did teach me the importance of these experiences. Being up here on the stage and giving a speech with many of my closest friends sitting behind me is pretty cool, but it only came from late nights staying up doing homework, doing homework on the weekends, skipping doing things with friends, and a lot of stressful and unhappy times. And to be completely honest, I can't tell you if it was worth it or not. To get in this position and rank took a ridiculous amount of work, often at the cost of these experiences. I missed out on quite a bit just to have these grades that really haven't done much for me. I watched, I watched a speech, speech of a valedictorian, valedictorian who shared the same sentiments. He said that working hard is good, it is in fact biblical, but it should not be done at the sole purpose of a goal's sake and at the expense of the relationship with others. This couldn't be more true. Hard work is important and being uncomfortable in this work isn't a bad thing, but we cannot totally sacrifice these relationships and experiences for what we are working towards. This is quite possibly one of my biggest regrets in high school, but it was a lesson that needed to be learned. By no means am I saying that you should give up on your goals, but it is important to remember to not become so focused that you ignore all of the people and relationships in your life. Canyon Lake will always hold some of the best memories, and I'm thankful for all the people who have helped me create these memories. Thanks for everything, and good luck in whatever you choose to do. I now have the privilege of awarding the salutatorian of Canyon Lake High School to Landry Brown. Landry is graduating Canyon Lake with a 4.0 GPA. Throughout high school, Landry has been involved in track and placing sixth in state in high jump this year. Co-captain of the state champion cheer team, president of the National Honor Society, Student Council, Emerging Leadership Program, Chick-fil-A Leadership Academy, and Because I Said I Would. Landry will be attending Texas A&M University, majoring in biology. Please help me congratulate the salutatorian of Canyon Lake High School's graduating class of 2020, Landry Brown. I think yours. Thank you. Yes, class of 2021. Now I would like to introduce Caitlin Mott, who will deliver the commencement address. Good evening, family, friends, faculty, and fellow graduates. I promise my portion will not take up an excessive amount of time, in case any of you in the crowd were wondering. To start off, I would like to give a special thanks to all of the graduates tonight for being a part of a community that has impacted me in so many ways. Thank you for making my past seven years at Canyon Lake full of memories that are greatly cherished. Thinking back to past years, I found it funny how at the end of every school year, our teachers would remind us to act more mature. At the end of eighth grade, they told us to act like high schoolers. At the end of ninth grade, they told us not to act like the typical freshmen who run around the halls. For the past 12 years, we've always received this reminder, except for this year. I noticed that the prevalence of this reminder was at an all-time low. At first, I found this to be strange, until I realized that the reason for this was not due to our mentor's lack of care, but it was precisely the opposite. The reality of the changes that we will all face in the next chapter of our lives are so real that they're impossible to ignore. We didn't need the reminder as seniors because we're all about to take this inevitable leap into a new part of our lives, whether that's at a university, trade school, workforce, etc. It's an exciting chapter nonetheless, and our time has come. I genuinely hope that everyone sitting before me today will appreciate the opportunities and experiences that lie before them in this new stage of life. This is simple to say in words, I realize, however. The execution of the statement is not quite as easy. I mean, take a moment to notice the people around you right here, right now. For the most part, these are people that you'll end up disconnecting from after tonight is over. And I know some of you may be thinking something along the lines of, well, you didn't even talk to half the people, or maybe you're just glad to move on. And I don't blame you, I'm just being realistic. But what we have to realize is that, in some regard, we all impacted each other, whether we realized it or not. 
You may have been on the same team together trying to have a successful game or a perfect routine. You may have been in the same English class freshman year, awkwardly acting out parts of a Shakespeare play. Maybe you were part of the same club that took place after school. Maybe it was as simple as just being in the stands at a football game, cheering as a collective, or just passing each other in the back hallways, trying not to be hit with a spike ball. Whatever it may have been, it linked our class together and made our high school experience unique and one to remember. So appreciate this moment as it represents both the end and the beginning of something special. And as you all move on from this moment and try to make sure that it wasn't you that peaked in the last four years, I hope you will all cherish all of the memories that you're bound to make in this new unknown chapter of life. There will be both good and bad moments to learn from, but as long as we reflect and appreciate the opportunity to grow without any reminders from others, it will all be worthwhile. I have treasured all the times we've shared. Thank you. And now I have the privilege of awarding the valedictorian of Canyon Lake High School to Caitlin Mott. Caitlin is graduating Canyon Lake with a 4.0 GPA. Throughout high school, Caitlin has been involved in track, the Emerging Leaders Program, Chick-fil-A Leadership Academy, National Honor Society, and Yearbook. Caitlin will be attending Texas A&M University majoring in animal science. Please help me congratulate the valedictorian of Canyon Lakes graduating class of 2021, Caitlin Mott. At this time, I would like to ask the remaining top 10 students to stand and be recognized. Thank you. Board President Dristata, Board of Trustees, Mr. Kim, parents, families, and the class of 2021. Welcome. First, I would like to thank all of our families who are with us tonight. Thank you for your undying support of these students. And I would like to ask the Canyon Lake High School faculty to stand and be recognized at this time. I would also like to take a moment to remember classmate Craig White, who we lost last year. In remembrance, we are holding a chair in Craig's memory tonight. Let's have a moment of silence in memory of Craig. Thank you. To this year's senior class, I am so proud of the work you have accomplished throughout your four years at Canyon Lake High School. If you will, I'd like to take a few minutes to go down memory lane. I first became your principal during seventh grade year at Mountain Valley. Back then, you were much shorter, much louder, and a little more goofy. I remember I had to put a ban on flipping water bottles in the cafeteria. Spinners drove me crazy at lunch. And those silly bands were all the rage. And yes, you all wore them. In eighth grade, you were the first class to conduct, I mean, I'm sorry, to induct the Hawkway. And you have truly led by that example moving forward. During high school, it has been a pleasure watching you mature and grow from adolescence to young adults and watch you succeed in so many different areas. Now it is time to take these next steps into a new chapter of your life. So if you'll bear with me, I have a top 10 list of advice to send you on your way. So please listen carefully. Number 10, always be kind. Kindness is the single greatest thing that you possess 
that will attract people to you. If you treat people well, you will reap great blessings your entire life. Number nine, build relationships that matter. Every one of you come across, everyone you come across, whether in work or in play, can be someone who plays a big role in your life. Treat these relationships well. Number eight, don't give excuses. If you didn't do something, own it. Number seven, get up early and make the most of your day. Sleeping in wastes so much time. Time that could be used to make things happen in your world. Number six, believe in yourself. You are here today because you succeeded at 13 years of school. After tonight, you are capable of anything. Do not let anyone tell you different. Number five, always be willing to learn. You do not know it all. Be humble enough to let others teach you and show you how. One day, you will be able to teach others. Number four, have good values that embody doing the right thing even when no one is watching. Integrity is the highest form of character a person can have. Number three, push through even when it is hard. You above everyone have survived a pandemic and suffered through remote learning. You can do hard things. Do not forget that. Number two, take care of yourself. Exercise, eat good food, and love your people well. It is good for your soul. And number one, don't be afraid to take risk. Fear is the number one reason people fail. Go follow your dreams, even if you are scared. Even if you don't think it's the right time, even if you might fail. Failure is the first step to success. Go for it and don't let anyone tell you that you can't, or laugh at you, or say you're crazy. Do it anyway. And when you do, you will experience the truest sense of joy and happiness like no other. You are the maker of your own dreams and your own destiny. You have so much to look forward to, so much to experience, and so much to enjoy. Go be you. Thank you for being an incredible senior class. You have made me so proud to be your principal and to follow your journey. As Dr. Seuss would say, kids, you will move mountains. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so go get on your way. Congratulations, class of 2021. Would the class of 2021 please rise? <laughs> Mr. Kim, President Dristada, and members of the Board of Trustees, I do, by here, I do hereby certify the Canyon Lake High School seniors standing before you this evening have met the state and local requirements for completion of high school and graduation from Canyon Lake High School. It is my pleasure at this time to present these candidates to you, confer and conferring the diplomas will be members of the Kamal Independent School District, Board of Trustees, and Canyon Lake High School Administration. Candidates' names will be read by Mr. Jeff Strasner. CLHS teacher at Canyon Lake High School.
Caitlin Michelle Mott, summa cum laude. Landry Noel Brown, summa cum laude. Madison Kennedy Crowder, summa cum laude. Madison K. McGuire, summa cum laude. Tyler Wayne Dickens, summa cum laude. Anna Marie Hedinger, summa cum laude. Natalie Ann McCoy, summa cum laude. Tyler John Polly, summa cum laude. Caitlin Rose Postel, summa cum laude. Lily Alexis Lesturgeon, summa cum laude. Blair Elise Adamson. Austin Jacob Aguilar. Patrick Michael Allman, cum laude. Tyler Austin Atencio. Alexandra Annette Baker. Hayden Summer Baker. Santiago Fermin Barrientos. Caden Ray Barton. Sean Douglas Bell. Riley Michelle Benham. Jonathan Bolanos Galvan. Ryan Alexander Brinkle. Jeremiah Christian Brooks. Jonathan David Brown, magna cum laude. Jordan Elijah Bryan. Evan Paul Birch. Colin Evans Cantu, magna cum laude. Tough Mac Cantu. Troy Alexander Carrillo. Christina Nicole Carroll. Anna Danielle Cardi, magna cum laude. Michaela Cameron Case. Anesli Daniela Castillo Augustine. Juliana Giselle Castro. Avery Elizabeth Chapel. Chapel. 
Sabrina Annette Chavez, cum laude. Dylan Bruce Clark. Emma Claire Coffey. Matthew Scott Colgan. Caitlin Elizabeth Collins. Hannah Elizabeth Cortez. Caitlin Marie Cox, cum laude. Savannah Annette Kreider. Benjamin Jarek Crisp. Corbin Yuri Crockett. Carter Joseph Derwan, cum laude. Hudson Randall Duke. Zane Anthony Duncan. Julia Danielle Ellis. Xavier Michael Espinoza. Trennis Jewel Evans the Fourth. Thomas Troy Eister. Whitney Victoria Felder. Frank Patrick Galvan. Haley Joe Gallagher. Hannah Elaine Gallagher, magna cum laude. Camden Nicholas Garcia. Daniel Mejia Garcia. Lucas Matthew Garcia, cum laude. Serenity Alize Garcia. Amber Allison George. Jalissa Lynn Gonzalez. Aiden Richard Hartle. Aaron Lee Hartman. Pierce Jefferson Heller, cum laude. Sage Dwight Herbert. Yuvia Estrella Hernandez Rangel. Jasmine Hernandez. Jody Glenn Milhouse, magna cum laude. Taylor Rosita Maria Hernandez. Julian Hernandez Vargas.
Alexis Danielle Hedinger, magna cum laude. Caitlin Nicole Hedinger. William Edwin Hillenbrand, cum laude. Rudy Anthony Hinojosa. Nathan Alexander Hobbs. Chance Makana Lani Holguin. Katie Noel Hornbeck. Jesse James Horner. Shatil Bree Herda. Ernesto Jimenez Bolanos. Hunter Michael Kearney. Caitlin Ashley Keltner. Nathaniel Knight Kennedy. Jacob Ethan Kalaya. James Thomas Lalon, magna cum laude. Sergio Landa. Richard Durrell Landis II. Gabriel Orion Lara. Cum laude. Juan Martin Leon. Isabel Catherine Long. Cum laude. Jace Edmund Longoria. Fatima Loyola. Jennifer Darian Luevanos Guajardo. Erica Susanna Luna. Angelina Nicole Luongo. Mariah Danielle Maguziak. Danielle Manriquez. Juan Diego Marufo. Pierce Ellis McCullough. Isaac Allen McGregor. Matthew Timothy McLean. Michael Peyton McMullen. Deegan Michael Miller. Cody Patrick Mims. Marco Antonio Miranda. Ella Day Moore.
Kaylee, Kaylee Lynn, Lynn Moore. Moore. Kylie, Kylie Ann Morgan, Morgan cum, cum laude. laude. Story, Jean Mosier. Shelby, Corinne Murphy. Jordan, Elizabeth Nod. Joshua, Charles Nelson. Amanda, Caitlin Otis. Melissa, Lily O'Neill. Antonio Otegi Jr. Alexis Ryan Ozuna. Max Addison Silas Palmer. Mackenzie Leanne Parker. Cameron Rose Patterson, magna cum laude. Caitlin Marie Patty. Sorry, Patty. Novali Marie Polly. Sean Carl Rico Pendleton. Stephen Ken Rico Pendleton. Jake Richard Henry Peters, summa cum laude. Brianna Marie Phillips. Devin Raymond Placeris. Gabriella Lauren Picaro. Kaya McKenna Faith Price. Jonathan Israel Ramirez. Jenna Nicole Reed. Adriel Larice Rico. Ryan Christopher Rivoli. Esgar Rodriguez. Juan Carlos Rodriguez Ayala. Tyler David Rogers Garber. Madeline Grace Rowe. Catherine Eileen Royer. Joseph Lee Rushing. Connor Russ. Connor. 
Angel David Sanchez Menchaca. Brianna Yanira Sanchez. Josue Reyes Sarmiento. Kinsey Addison Sales. Carly Brianne Schettelbauer. Caleb Wang Shemank. Gunner Mason Schneider. Charles Neil Schumacher. Joshua Ryan Shett. Devin Scott Shaw. Naomi Sky Shadle. Dylan Mathis, Mathis Shane. Riley Jane Shear. Sarah Ann Shepard. Clay Dylan Shue. Nathan Alexander Schlebrich. Alexa Ray Smith. Dallas Victoria Stevenson. Donovan Jacobs Stockwell. Stephanie Aletha Stoker, magna cum laude. Brando Suarez. Daniel Rogelio Suarez. Sonny Dion Sapinski. Matthew Corbin Talaferro. Kelsey Ann Taylor. Eric Christian Toich. Madeline Elizabeth Thomas. Rachel Elizabeth Tucker. Rebecca Violet Tucker. Christopher Sean Vandiver. Edwin Armando Vasquez Luna. Connor Blake Vercher. Madeline Jolie Verrett. Jolie 
Baylor, Anthony Vickers. Megan, Mariah Voorhees. Trenton, Michael Watkins Clark. Maximilian Anthony Watts. Tilly Marie Wetz, cum laude. Colette Autumn Wharton. Derek, Derek Allen Dietrich. Yeah. Noah Ravello Wilkins. Wilkins. Brandon, Brandon Alexander, Alexander Williams. Williams. Nevaeh Lee Williams. Lee Williams. Hayden Alexander Wilson. Wyatt Matthew Wyndham. Colton Blake Winters. Barry Adam Allen Woodling. Emily K. Wright. Kira Kaylee Zip. Now we will recognize a special group of students. Ladies and gentlemen, let us recognize the following seniors who've chosen to enlist into our armed services and who are accepted into a, a military academy and will be serving our country both on our home front and abroad. Please hold your applause until all students have been called. Will the following students please stand? Our military enlistees representing the United States Navy, Shatil Herta, Carly Shuttlebauer, Chris Kleppinger. Representing the United States Army, Connor Vercher, Aaron Hartman, Serenity Garcia. Representing the United States Air Force Reserves, Chance Holquin. 
representing the United States Air Force, Benjamin Chris Gabriel Lara, and representing the Army National Guard, Cody Mims, Dallas Stevenson, Maximilian Watts, Rudy Hinojosa, and Madison Crowder. Let's give, us the, let's give these young adults a round of applause. May now be seated. Will the class of 2021 please rise and join in the singing of our alma mater? It is the time, it is the time for the moment we have all been waiting for. Congratulations, class of 2021. We did it. You may now move your tassel from the right to the left. At the end of the graduation ceremony, we ask that you remain seated until your color section is dismissed. In an effort to maintain distancing and allow our graduates time to reunite with their families, we will dismiss by color group. When your color group is called, attendees should make their way to their vehicles to meet their graduate. The graduates will now process out. They will be back on the field after the procession.